The episode you are about to view contains mature content. Viewer discretion is advised. Good toast. Oh, no. Who did the instructions? <laughs> it's Fritz. Hey! <laughs> welcome to Good Toast. Welcome I'm your host, and so is this your host. Oh, hi. I'm BJ, oh, that's hi. Kyle. We have guests, uh, this is Josh, and that's Cody. Hi, and then AKA we have our Pancho. resident Pancho. Mike. What's up? This is a uh, homemade this uh, cinnamon sugar. Uh, if you want to make this recipe, I found it online. It's one quarter cup of sugar. And no, don't use that. One tablespoon <laughs> I thought you were talking about my recipe. I'm like, I found this shit on Google, bro. Calm down. I need my mimosa. I need my mimosa. He wants this for mimosa. He's, he gets to angry with mimosa. It's basically hair of the dog that bit me, really, though. But you didn't even get the right champagne. Like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, this, this guy over here is making a mimosa with, uh, with, Rose, Bruce she Rose. Rose. So it's With close to Rose. Right. Like, what Rose the, hell? the brute part is right. Well, I mean, at least you got the orange juice right. Yeah. That's some good damn orange juice. But he, uh, he had no, a good wait, point wait, about... Is that Tropicana or is that simply orange? Tropicana. Tropicana. Oh, mm. bro. No, Come man. Tropicana <laughs> is so good. Like, yeah, simply Tropicana. orange, simply lime, simply lemon. Like, that is what you want because that is the organic shit and organic is the way of the future. So You do have a point there. I agree with you. GMOs all the way. But I do like Tropicana. Yeah. Monsanto. GMO all the way. <laughs> GMO so all you know, the way. GMC? Run DMC? Run DMC? <laughs> Please edit out my idiocracy. All right. No, we are I'm taking toast no. request. Ain't happening. White. That's a movie, by the way. Wheat. White. What do you got to want? Uh, wheat. <laughs> that's, that's white. That looks bad. Like white toast, toast or brown <laughs> toast? You want the white toast or the black so toast? So I just did this. I did white. <laughs> oh, not a good start. Not dude. a good that start. Is, that is, yeah. uh, we this already... This is when Mike snaps. And I'm going to drink <laughs> Like, how dare <laughs> I should be... Ah. I should... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... There that now, is. Now I that we've got our little bit of uh, this is racism, racism, show, by racism by into the <laughs> show, this is TVMA, I was told, so yes. you're going to hear me swearing a lot, um, because fine. I got drunk before the show started. Oh, I was waiting to hear it. Oh, shit, piss fuck <laughs> damn motherfucker. Okay. There, there, um, <laughs> there it is. If you get insulted, don't watch the show if you get offended. Just please no, please no. put, um, at the beginning of the show, please put a... Mature audiences only. I mean, I can record one when I'm not drunk. Maybe, maybe we'll do like a jackass thing where it's like, um, this is a, a, a don't try this at home. Should I start paddling faster because I hear banjos? What the <laughs> yeah, was that? You should get out quick <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> Boy, you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, welcome to the show, everybody. I'm drunk. I'm hot. Hey, nice to meet you. I need to get. We all need to get to his level. Oh I God, man. I am not there. No, I don't you, think we have any. He's shushing them. Why are we <laughs> shushing? He's no, not he... shushing. Shot. Shot. He's not shushing. He's, he's shotting. Oh, he's shot. shotting. Shot. 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 You guys can do shots. I'm good with the most. You get at it. I'm, I'm good. Do this it guy over here want. isn't drinking at all because he got drunk last night and he's a <laughs> pussy, so fuck it. But you are what you eat. Hey, so. I, actually think I, I actually think I drank more than him, and I just have a slight headache, and he's hey. more tired than me. Kyle was lit last night. Kyle was on the floor. He was, he was all over the place. Yeah, boy. He was going nuts. He was looking like Ryan. Right why would, why was I at home so. doing laundry last night? <laughs> I, I, don't know. With I have no idea. But Kyle was lit. He was all over the floor doing. He almost threw up doing Toriel and shit. <laughs> Kyle was also folding clothes on the dance floor. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're all waiting for our toast. And we're just kind of like bullshit and shooting the shit. So oh, yeah. I like, I like, I like this. I like this. This, yeah. is, this is not Making butter toast at is all. Good. Yeah. You did not butter my yeah, toast very well. I did it real butter. quick. Oh, okay. You want more butter? There it no, is. I'll get it next time. Yeah, I'll get it on the next one. When, when you make my buttons. toast, can you make sure to spread your butter everywhere? <laughs> he, he wants you to butter his I want, butter. I want butter. I want butter. Dude, I want get out that uh, butter and strawberry <laughs> preserves. Butter and strawberry preserves on mine. Is that mine? Yes. No. Uh, butter and strawberry preserves. Can I see your man card? Um, Wait, why would you take what, it? How does that equate <laughs> to me? Strawberry preserves. Like, <laughs> you want I strawberry like something. I don't You're know. a woman. 
Chips oh, aren't chips. You only get half of chips. When you're buying chips in a bag, you only get half. You know, it pisses Always. me off that yeah, air you know, every time you, you get a bag of chips, of chips, you can pay like two dollars for the bag of chips, and you're getting half air. Yep. That is a bullshit against the humanity. That is a bullshit Agreed. against America. I'm that is some bullshit Amen. against Obama. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, so Obama. Obama. Hey. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is, screw all of you. You didn't have to grow up using right-handed scissors in your left hand and getting that fucking <laughs> here we go. Uh, like, that here we go. <laughs> and then you're in a right-handed preach, desk, brother, trying, preach. Trying to Pre write this way. Like, how do I Let do this? Now, I guess that's oh, one stupid. thing that I, we never had to worry about because you write, but in English you write um, left to right. Yeah, so right-handed, we're like, Rapid. oh, we're like all this, over and, the and, hand. and then left-handers are like, oh god, and then they, they're they're black all the way up the side of their hand. I mean. <laughs> Um, oh, that was, I never even thought about that. that. Was I didn't either. That, you know? no <laughs> that was I didn't racist, care that like, much either. Right. I, you know, uh, I washed my hands yeah. so much in grade school just because of that. <laughs> All right. What's so, also real fun, though, is learning to drive a stick shift when you're a lefty. See, now, on oh, that same token, yeah. my dad actually told me that was easier because when you're a lefty, um, this is my dad telling me this. Because my dad was left-handed, and I got another story I'd like to share real quick later after nope. that. But my nope. dad... I'm gonna run out of time. Uh, yep. Run out of time. <laughs> I'm chicken. My watch tells me. Right, because we have a producer. Uh, we were gonna have Matt Damon on. Uh, we're probably not gonna have time to have him on. Well, you know, Mitch Hedberg Matt can sit Damon. in the. Oh, Mitch Hedberg's dead. But <laughs> Mitch Hedberg can sit oh. in the back and eat cantaloupe. Uh, um, Come on. Just edit that part out. But anyways, my dad said that when you're, when you're a lefty, you're, all you're doing is just flipping a stick around with your right hand. You actually are controlling with your dominant hand the steering wheel, which is more important. Um, whereas with right-handed drivers uh we are controlling the left the steering wheel with our non-dominant hand which is more difficult because we don't That's have as much control over it and we're just flipping a stick with mm -hmm. our dominant hand so for right-handed people driving a right-hand drive vehicle like being in england or something like that would actually be easier um the funny story i wanted to share real quick before we move on to another topic was uh, on the topic of left-handed people uh is my dad taught me how to tie a tie and it was really difficult because he'd say, so hey, flip, flip this thing, or like do this, so move this here, move that there. And I'm like, Dad, it doesn't fucking work. Like, I don't <laughs> get it. And I went, wait. They weren't talking about the tie. Hey. Oh! Hey! hey. It doesn't work. I don't get it. <laughs> there's, there's something, there's something um, in there. There's something in there. So, um. My dad actually got to a point where he's, well, I mean, where he's like, I don't know how to help you if this doesn't work. Did his dad at least use lube? He <laughs> wow! <laughs> and then gets, then I'm blue. so drunk I did not even hear you guys having a little side conversation. But uh finally got to a point where I was like, Dad, it doesn't work me doing this way. And I went, wait, I'm right handed, you're left handed, let me mirror you. So my dad's using his dominant hand to do this and do that, and I'm mirroring him instead of um copying him, and it actually worked out. So that's all I wanted to share, which you guys all fucked it up, and you now I'm the next topic. Better. Oh, wow. The life of a lefty. Fuck all of you, I hate you. <laughs> we don't understand it. I understand you. What? I understood. I Ooh, probably yeah, should not have been killed like that, sir. Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. Look at that. Mike came up from behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, holy shit, there's a teddy bear right for me. <laughs> there's a place in town here in the area where we filmed called Crazy Penguins, which was just a... Um, like a, uh, yeah, yeah, it had, it had never had, been, never been. Good times. Oh, well, you can't. You missed out. Right. You missed out. Like I'm not gonna say like you're an idiot for not going. I'm just gonna say you missed out. <laughs> um, which was funny because Josh and I are one of our math teachers in high school was actually the wife of the guy who owned the place. Um, so everyone knew us there, and they had pool tables in the back. They had an area where it was like. Um, it was sectioned off into pretty much every single console. Right, much. yeah. You had Xbox uh, 360, which was the big one at the time. You had PS3, which was the big one. Then they had um, Wii, Wii. 64. They had everything all the way back to Commodore 64 in there. Now, granted, the older section. The Gold Knight. <laughs> yes. A lot of Gold Knight. Uh, well, at no. the time, Halo 2 had just come out, so everyone was playing that yeah, still. Okay. Uh, but yeah, whenever there was the 64 plugged in, yeah, it was Golden Eye Mario Kart. Yeah, oh, Golden Eye. Golden Eye. So, so people were right trying to kill each other all the time. So yeah, one one, one very particular room in this area was just this big room, which was roughly about the size of this room that we're filming in right now. And, um, which this room is bigger than 
the camera can see, by the way. Um, and it was all computers, and it was a big, like, I was land like, was fuck. party area, and it was awesome. They always had, like, this, like, techno EDM music playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so cool. Mm -hmm. Like, you, if you smoked weed and you went there, you probably had a weird-ass trip because the lighting was all weird and shit. Um, and Josh and I, we used to go there with a bunch of our friends, and we'd always play things like, um, what, Age of Empires 3? Yeah, was Age it? of Empires 3, oh, Demigod, uh, occasionally Unreal 2004. Right. That's oh, what, that, that's what we did. Yeah. With the Disney Master game. Race, that's the one that we did a lot. Well, so, and it, that, that, that's, that's where I learned all my, like, And Geo 4, and then UT um, Game of the Year, what was that, 1999 or something? Something or, like that. Well, I think, 2001. I think we all have to make sure we're on the same patch. I mean, I think at this point, Unreal 3 had just come out, right? Like, when it, by the time this place closed, Unreal 3 had come out. Yeah. So it's like, oh, cool, well, we have a Danke. shitty Unreal now. But I'll just go back to 2000. I, I need more <laughs> toast, so I'm not as drunk. I'll take but yeah, in, in true computer gaming fashion, when you have a large group of computers, they're all on like multiple servers together because it's a cafe setup pretty much. So same hub. There was always like eight computers going down and just dying for no reason. It's like, oh, I was about to win, but I guess I'm going to go outside and do nothing now. Blue screen to death. Oh, I'll get in on the next oh, no. game. Oh, not even that. It would just be like, oh, I'm playing, 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 and then boom, done. Like, no warning, uh, nothing. Turn off. The screen was just dead, and it was the LCD, so it didn't do, like, the line where it was shutting off, like, the old-school CRTs. It was just, oh, the screen's blank. But right it's still getting it. a signal from the computer, so it's not going to pop up a thing saying no yeah. signal. I remember, what going, was, on, I remember going there and, like, doing rock band, like, just playing rock band all fucking day long and shit. They actually had rooms, oh, yeah, they that. Actually had rooms color, that were but. set up at Crazy Penguins that was specifically for like set up with the whole rock band set up yeah, yeah. Like personally i um would hang out and I'll, I'll send you a picture of this on facebook later but i actually uh would go there and play pool with a bunch of people and there was actually a, a post that was made by a friend of ours where i was the guy who would like run around to, like the guys playing xbox the guys playing playstation the guys playing n64 people playing pool and i'd be like everybody needs to be together because i've kind of always been the glue of my friends like i'm the one that you know you'll have your, your group of friends who's over here like just chilling drinking their mimosas and then you have the group of people over here who's like going outside to smoke cigarettes or other smokable things and um you also had so i'd be the guy that's like kind of running around like everywhere josh you also kind of been always that person yeah no. he's not agreeing with me so <laughs> fuck you um but yeah, think about that now no, no, no. Honestly, honestly, if you were to put this into perspective between him and I and our friendship of, like, a high school dance, I'm the guy running around going, like, everybody needs to party, and he's the guy making out with some, like, hot chick in the corner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't argue. deny it! I'm it's not gonna true! Argue. I won't argue about it at all. Okay, I want to go back argue, to the video game. Hey, 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 what was hey, everybody's hey. first video game they ever played? Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Um, Mine was Atari and the yeah. cowboy shooting game where you just sit there and you'd have to line. It was like Pong where you would have to shoot. You'd have one guy on this side here <laughs> and you would just try to shoot each other. You'd have like three <coughs> shots to kill the other person. That was the very first one I played. I don't even remember what it was called. I think mine was uh, Slaughterhouse on a, ten on, a on a television. Uh, was it that like where you wow. like hook up this like computer thing? It's like, like it, it, it's, it's uh, like that. It's too. almost like Atari, but it was a more a tiny more advanced than Atari. Like yes, I played that. And uh, you know, it's like uh, you go, you're Jason, and you're going through like a like a house, and you're just like beating up things. Like, <laughs> I've heard about that stuff. one. <laughs> I, I want to I want to say to be completely honest with you guys, the first like console video game I ever played. Well, just video game in general though was well it doesn't matter because the first <laughs> one i ever played was the first one we would have played would have been on console man come on 90s uh, kids. Yeah. we didn't yeah we were children in the 90s old. it's we okay didn't four computers um no i think the first one i ever played was uh was sesame street abc on the nes oh wow <laughs> because it was the only one like my grandparents had this nes that they found and they got working and my cousins and i we would always go in the basement at our grandparents house and play the nes and the only one my cousins would ever let me play was Sesame Street because I've always been the baby. Like I'm huge. Like if like 
but in, in terms of like size like i'm overweight i'm tall but if you looked at my cousins they're all smaller than me but i'm the baby of the family and um so they always look at me and I'm like you're the baby you gotta play the baby game so the first game i ever played was sesame street abc on the nes and then they finally let me play super uh super mario brothers and i always Heck had to yeah. play as luigi because i was the baby so i had to be player two so oh, and all i gotta bullshit. say to my cousins is I do, as far as it goes i have to blame a couple of my cousins for not having upper body strength because they never would let me climb the trees with them <laughs> Uh, they're always like, you're Let the baby, you can't climb Let the trees. Out. And there's one particular cousin I I want to yell at, but I'm not going to because she's she's cool. But um, <laughs> she was the one that actually told me one time. She's like, you're a baby, you can't climb trees. I'm like, but I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> who here, so, baby? Who here cheated at Duck Hunt with um when oh, you yeah. had the Duck Hunt game and you put it up to the TV? Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Like I'm, I'm you sick guys of you. are doing this the hard way. Get out of here. <laughs> Just turn the contrast all the way up, no matter where you shoot on the screen. Ducks are bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the right idea. I didn't know you could that. do that. Wait, wait, wait hey, let, from the couch. Let me I like this guy. Let me just let me That's just good. interject this little thing. Thank you. He grew up in southern Missouri, so of course he'd know how to kill ducks. <laughs> <laughs> you throw the flashbang up there, which you just we're of course gonna make it homemade at that point, but whatever. And then Is that like a home. duck IED? <laughs> a duck IED. A duck IED. IED. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. I don't oh, know what's yeah. going on. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, Man, oh, it's chilly. Too soon. Final topic. Um, it, more of opinion based. Like, what do you like? So we'll go around the room. Um, Nothing. Marvel universe, DC oh. universe. Um, which one's your favorite? First off, and then talk about it. Or we don't even give a shit if you talk about it. Or don't talk about it. Just which one's your favorite? Um, which Mike? Uh, DC or Marvel? The whole universe. The whole like. Let's, t let's talk cinematic. Maybe. Maybe. Fully. Let's talk like. Just which one? Don't even talk cinematic. No, we all the know whole, the DC the whole cinematic universe. universe. Okay, the whole universe. Assholes. The whole universe. Except for, no, the TV shows are good. Yeah, this is true. DC or Marvel? Well, if I had to base one off of, you know, part of Cinemax, I'll say Marvel. But DC always comes through in the comics. So, I say both. I'm a fan of both. No! Uh, Josh. Fuck. <laughs> I know. I know. It's uh, hard. Yeah, of course. It is pretty hard. Of course, movie-wise... We all pretty much know Marvel has movie-wise wrapped up right now, completely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Until we see how DC does with Justice League, because I hate Ezra Miller as the Flash, just because I do not picture that kind of a person as Barry Allen. Grant and, Austin. Yeah, I like Grant Austin. I, I really do. do. I mean, I it's, it's weird because Barry Allen is supposed to be not a skinny, itty bitty guy, but he's he's a bigger, more built dude. A bit. Yeah. Like the thing that makes me upset. DC TV wise, I love The Flash. It, I, it is a great show. I love how they have all the characters. Yeah. What makes me kind of upset? Wally West was one of the first like superhero versions of The Flash I ever read about, and he's the one that made me rub it. So it's like, oh, this weird ginger guy is The Flash, and he's friggin' amazing. It's like, okay, well, he's not. Huh. He's got brown hair, doesn't he? He's not a ginger. He's a ginger. Like, his hair is orange, man. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. For what? <laughs> yeah, what? Which one? Which one? I should just oh, interject. Yeah, I, yeah, that's a, that's oh, a, I knew he was confused. About the comment. I, I knew he was just talking about the, about the show. No, that's what I was going to say. Oh, about, okay. You know, this. Okay. Well, the actor is amazing and so far. I love him. He's funny. Okay. He's just decent. But it's like, hey, you're just going to suddenly, like, race swap him. Like, okay. I mean, there are so many amazing black characters in the show they can do. Yeah. But, okay, I guess. This is interesting. Yeah. Kyle, uh, Marvel versus DC. I like both. Um, I mean, oh. like we've already established, Marvel's awesome in the movies. Um, DC, um, they're just not bringing it yet in the movies. Uh, but I always love the DC animation, uh, animated series, the... Um, uh, the yeah, TV yeah. shows now, I like Arrow, Flash, yeah. Legends of Tomorrow, wow. everything. Just so it's, I don't, I can't pick a, a favorite. It's more like a favorite in the different genres or medias, you know. So, Marvel movies, yeah, DC show, animated series, and shows and all that, they're winning. I still do like Agents of Shield, but I prefer DC. I gotta go comic wise, Marvel though. 
Just because if you go towards the I end where you reboot so everything, yeah, I, think, I don't read comics. I don't. He doesn't read comics. I do very, do comics? very, very little. Though. I, I, I have, I've read like a few here and there. I don't do yeah, comics here. Like, <laughs> I'm not like a big comic person. I only have one comic person. It sounds like here, Mike. Uh, comics. Mike, he reads uh, them. Not really. Oh, no. comics. Back in the day, not anymore. Yeah. So you're the only comic person here. <laughs> well, to give an example on why I think this, going back to what I was about to say is uh. The way they end before they go ahead and reboot series, like one of the ones they did not horribly long ago was when they ended their Ultimates series, pretty much to go ahead and do like, hey, we're going to make everything brand new and just rebuild stories that we thought we let get way too out of whack and let them get way too powerful where we just can't explain a way for them to lose anymore. So the world's ending. It's the multiverse and everything's starting to like compound together because there's pretty much only like two multiverses now. Or universes, I should say. So it's like, Ultimate Universe has all these amazingly powerful heroes. And then there's normal Earth, our Earth. And Doctor Doom ends up being, like, the good guy. Which is really weird, because it's Doom. Captain America's yeah. the bad guy. Not in this one, actually. No, I mean, like, like uh, they just wrote, like, Captain America that, being... That that's, that's, yeah, that's a really weird hypnosis... Mind control I can't wait bullshit. for in like seven years they finally put it into the cinematic universe and he's like oh guys by the way oh, I, I totally did all that to fuck you <laughs> every single thing we did was just to get Hydra on top yeah I'm gonna love it I think me and Tom Finley had a fight where he was he was mad he, I was like it's gonna happen in the cinematic universe he's no. like no it's not it's never gonna touch the cinematic universe I don't universe. think it will either I think it will no. I, like I, said, I think it will I've, I've, I've read a few comics here and there TV, like, cinematic, what's your favorites? Cinematic, obviously, has been the the Marvel Universe, because they they kind of started... Uh, okay, they didn't start, because the cinematic universe in superheroes started years ago, back in the 60s, with the original Batman television yeah. series. Yeah. But, um... Restarted. But the reboot for our generation was Iron Man. True. Like, Robert Downey Jr. coming out of being, like, a horrible drug addict and changing his life around and becoming this superhero that he little is Iron, kids he is Iron up, Man. Yeah, yeah, he is he Iron is. Man. Like, and, like, no him becoming this, like, person that, like, kids look up to and stuff like that. Like, it changed his life and it changed, like, where we see movies coming from in our, in our time. Like, I don't see, like, between in the last decade, I think the movies... The, the top three series that people our generation have wanted to go see are Marvel movies, Harry Potter related stuff, and Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's it's one of those things where it's like that's our generation. Like and Star our, Wars is probably gonna be every generation. Every generation's gonna have yeah, a yeah, let's do the Star Wars we, stuff. We, again. we could we yeah. could say that, oh, yeah. but at the same time you gotta you gotta blame Disney. Because Disney's got a hold of it, and they're just... Like, let's make a lot of money, guys. Disney Disney has yeah. this kink about grabbing a hold of something and choking it until its life is gone, and then still jerking out a few Yeah, dollars. and they're well, going to be, be doing fair. that for a while. I mean, let's be fair. With Episode 7 and Rogue One, Episode 7, some people are still on the fence about it. I liked it. I liked Rogue it One, though... I, I have not guys. seen Rogue so, One. I am the only one in this room who has not seen Rogue One, so they can't talk about it. See, I was uh, hoping we could talk about this. No. They are all pissed nope. that I that they cannot no. talk about Rogue One. So we could do a subsection where Mike comes behind the bar and starts talking about Rogue One. Yeah, you get the hell out. And yeah. I could just go to McDonald's. This is where yeah, Cody leaves. <laughs> like, but Both seriously, like, honest, like to answer your question, BJ, honestly, for me, cinematically, like going to the movies, Marvel. Television, I do kind of enjoy the way DC has taken over TV. And I think what they realized was is that, hey, Marvel has theaters. Let's get the small screen. Let's get people at home. Let's get Netflix. Let's get Amazon. Let's get <clears throat> that kind of thing going on. Because they realized with like the Christian Bale dark, uh, Batman movies and stuff like that, they're like, we're not doing as well. And although I will say... Dark Knight, as a Batman movie, was phenomenal. Yes. All of the Christian Bale, he, he was, he, he's not my Batman, Michael Keaton's my Batman, oh, yeah. but he's like second. Yeah. It's, it goes Michael Keaton, and then it goes Christian Bale. Yeah. yeah. 
<sighs> in my opinion. That's so. Yeah, yeah I can agree with. So that. Nolan got it right. Although let's be fair, when it comes to the Netflix part of it, I mean, well, yeah, here, here's what I am. I'm, I'm with the Netflix. Like for me, the TV universe includes Netflix. So that's why I think Marvel is also dominating the the TV stuff because they've got Netflix and they've got they've uh, got they've got Daredevil, uh, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones. They're they're, uh, they're carrying that's on. That's why they're dominating. Series. I think they're just dominating across the board. The only thing that's as uh, animation wise. Uh, DC is winning like crazy, especially with with uh, comics oh, yeah. and with, um, with uh, yeah. except for the Killing Joke. I was like, I, was, I, I thought it was going to be shocking and and raw and, and crazy and nuts. And I was like, it was. Oh, awkward. I mean, maybe I'm desensitized. Like maybe all the stuff they did would be crazy for a nine year old to watch. Yes. Yes. But for me, I'm like, it wasn't the greatest of animation. I thought it was going to be just mind blowing, awesome animation. Well, they uh, so took it two good. story. I didn't see that one. Uh, Killing Joke, I won't yeah, give it away, but it's just didn't live up to the hype, in my opinion. Uh, okay. It's awkward. So, right, so right, interesting, interesting, t- interesting, which is something I watched on Facebook recently, was who is your Joker? Oh, see, that's a good one too. Because Mark is Hamill. it Cesar Romero? Mark Hamill. Always Mark Hamill. Oh, please let me give <laughs> all the options. <laughs> no. is, is it, no. is it Cesar you should Romero? know the options. Is it Cesar Romero? Is it Jack Nicholson? Is it Heath Ledger? Is it Jared Leto? Is it Mark Hamill? Jared Leto. Hamill. Always Mark Hamill. That voice. Jared Leto, but not this Jared Leto. That Not this Joker yet. <laughs> Mike joined the party. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I want to be in on this. I got to so the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the next Thanks, movie good. Jared Leto is in, hopefully he'll be in the Harley movie that'll probably be after Batman Solo. So probably going to see it in 2019. So that Jared Leto will be my favorite. Not see, this one. Like, as far I as it goes... Ledger for me. I have to go with as far as like the individual personalities of of the Joker, because if you think about it, the Caesar, type, the type of the, the, the yeah, Caesar Romero was the was the 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 jokester, not yeah, the Joker. Yeah, he, yeah, he was the campy one. He was the he was the he was that. <laughs> yeah, Jack yeah. Nicholson was kind of like mob boss. The mob boss. Heath Ledger was a psychopath, a- anarchist. Yeah. Anarchist. Anarchist. Anarchist, Anarchist is the word they use, and Jared Leto is the uh, meth head. Meth head, uh, mobster a little bit, but right? More, but more meth head. More like drug addict. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, but Mark Hamill has done more, and I agree with you. Mark Hamill is he's done a lot the of the Joker as far as oh yeah, yeah. as far as because, voice. Yeah, because not he did he's else. done multiple animated series. He's done the video game. Yeah, like when it comes to anything where you're not seeing a physical human face of the Joker, Mark Hamill is the he, Joker. He's probably yeah. the definitive Joker. Yeah. He's yeah, the I definitive agree with that. Yeah. And he, he's done an amazing job, and there's multiple things online you can see. About We're forgetting the Joker that wasn't actually the Joker, but did a really insanely good job on Gotham. Yes. Ooh, the kid that kid, yeah. kid joke. That kid. Holy that one did it. He is Joker. tremendous. I haven't got there yet. But, but when... Okay, I haven't seen Gotham, but from what I have seen, the trailers, the trailers related to that particular character, he's more of the Jared Leto Joker. Uh, I, don't, I, I think he's more of the uh, um, maybe a, a mix, mix of. Uh, for me, he was a mix of um, of Mark Hamill mixed um, with the the, uh, bat, the, the original uh, Adam. Was the first guy the Adam West? Cesar Romero. Yeah, I think he's a mix of Cesar Romero and Mark Hamill, in my opinion. No, uh, after watching him, but just. Maybe it was particularly the video I saw. Yeah, you, you didn't see the whole episode. So. Right, like the video I saw and the things they were talking about, I got more of like the psychotic anarchist type thing. So he was more of a mix between me. Of, I, I haven't seen Sarah's Suicide Squad either. I'm behind. I need to watch a bunch of movies. Yeah. See, with, with the anarchist, he had a plan, he had an idea, he had an ideology behind of why he was doing this. The one on Gotham, I don't think he really had that much of a like big picture. He was more of just like, let's just see what I can fuck up right now. Well, what, how old was he? Like in... Uh, uh, oh, it was like... Got them, he's 14, like... Yeah, teenager? Teen, four, teen, well, he hasn't 14, got the whole 15. picture yet. He hasn't grouped it all together. No, no, it doesn't matter. Really? He wasn't a joker. I shouldn't have... You, I don't, you never ever going to watch Gotham? But, I haven't got well, I kinda them just, I kind of just... I kind of just... To viewers watching, watching we there, may yeah. not... May, may, there may or may not be spoiler alerts. I might have just spoiled that. I'm sorry. Um, You should probably put that in the beginning well, of the yeah, video. I'll put spoiler alert right before I say it. Spoiler alert! <laughs> Well, I mean, this you, episode may or may not you, complain. If you know Gotham, it's the before story, so nobody who is who is actually in the Gotham universe is actually. Yeah, you are. don't know what's going. You know, you don't know what what is what it what, what could be. They might just be the influence of the actual. <laughs> yeah, you know, bad guys. Yeah, the other thing. Like that, that kid, Commissioner could, Gordon's a badass. 
Yeah, this is true. Which is weird because because what I understand is Jada Pickett Smith is a character who was never actually in. Who? Jada Pickett Smith. Uh, she plays Fishy. Yeah, yeah. Fish, fish, Mooney. Fish, Mooney. Fish, Mooney. Fish Mooney. Yeah. Uh, she's like I guess she wasn't. From what I saw, I saw an interview with her on Trevor Noah on The Daily Show, and like like her character was not really a DC villain. Like it was I something they created know. for Gotham. Probably, probably. possibly, yeah. Because they, 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 they can they can do that. They can do that. They can create a lot of them. Now. Well, the one small. thing I like though about Gotham, from what I have seen of it by trailers and like the little bit of it I've seen. Um, is the guy who plays Commissioner Gordon. Yeah. Um, because the first show I ever saw him in was the OC. OC um, woo, where he played, woo, where he played religiously. Where he where he played the badass from Chino. Um, and he was he was a he's a good actor. I don't Very remember his name, but um, there was also that cop show he was in. Um, Nightwatch. Was it Nightwatch? Was Nightwatch? he in Nightwatch? No, not Nightwatch. No, not Nightwatch. Phone. Where's my phone? Boomtown. No. Um, I gotta look this over. It's in your hand. <laughs> but I know what you're talking about. I watched that too. Yeah, that was like, it got canceled though. Well, he was still a good actor. Yeah, too. very good. He's just a good actor. No, like, yeah, he's a good him. actor, and I think he's a good. Was that TNT? No. No. No, I think it was Normal Station. You might be right. Well, the OC? Yeah. No, 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 no the cop show. Hey, the OC yeah, was on. Was there, was on uh, Ryan Atwood is. Oh no! Wait, no. That ben was McKenzie. Was that was his character. Ben McKenzie is his character. As the his Actors, actor, man. he's on Gotham Southland. That's oh, yeah. it. That was a good show. Um, he was also in Batman Year One. He did a voice. Junebug. Yep. Al Pacino. He was in 80, 88 Minutes with Al Pacino. Oh, I did not know that. Um, I think I've seen that. Yeah, like he's been in a he's been in a couple of really good shows. Southland was the cop show he was in. Yep. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. that was a really good like, show. He's he's a good actor. He plays that. Um, he plays that very kind of like detective like. Hey, I've had a shitty past, but I'm ready to make a better future. He's like a Boy yeah. Scout that you're not annoyed yeah. by. You know, like he plays the boy I like that analogy. A boy scout you're not annoyed by. I don't like that. I've never really been annoyed is, by a boy scout, but boy scout. Eh, sometimes boy scouts can be like, we gotta do it proper. Like, shut up already. <laughs> Scott's honor. So wait, like that boy scout movie with Bruce Willis? You thought he was annoying? Yeah. Uh, with, with, oh, here we was go. It Die Hard? No. <laughs> hey, it was, hey, it was called The Last Boy Scout. I don't know if I've seen it. It was him and uh, one of the Wayne's brothers. I don't know if I've seen it. The one that does uh, lethal like weapon. Uh, I wanna, I wanna. No, the one that does lethal oh, weapon though. I don't know. I don't think I've seen that. Where it's, where it's, uh, where it's was, I wasn't a Boy Scout, but I had a brownie once. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was Euro Trip. Yeah, was that Euro Trip? So. <laughs> Bolivia! Interesting facts! You made out with your sister! <laughs> Man! <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're, we're so kind of just... You said it's a Euro Trip? Michel, Michelle Get out. Thratchtenberg. Ugh! We're editing you out of the show now. All right. <laughs> yeah. And with that, I think we can wrap it up with Euro Trip glory of Michelle epicness. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and if you have it, like, they're, they're, we'll, we'll just, like, okay, at this yeah, point, yeah. what you should do, at this part of the episode, as we're rolling into the credits, you should just really just, like, roll, like, a list of movies that we've all seen. We can all write down our, like, our favorite, no. like, top five favorite movies. Uh, that's too much work. And that's if you haven't seen <laughs> I will write them down, and you can edit them into the video, BJ. Um, what is this for? Nothing. No, what it's for the end of the thing. Like, as we go to the credits, it's like, it's like the credits of whose line is it anyways. Like, oh, that movie, that guy, that guy, that guy. Like, like seriously, there's, there's a whole, like, there's a fuck ton of movies that I bet you each one of us could... <laughs> I that. Each one of us could name, like where it's like <laughs> Mike could get F-I-N Mike could name thing. like ten movies. Bean. I could name ten movies. Bean. Kyle, Josh, BJ, I'll Sean. We could all name ten movies. Okay, la- last last bit before we roll to the credits. Uh, favorite movie ever. Of favorite all time. movie of all time. Artificial intelligence. Good movie. Uh, Josh. I am Omega. Kyle. Robert Redford. Wayne's World. Jurassic <laughs> Park. Mike. Oh, favorite movie of all time. Um. That's not a movie! That's a swear <laughs> word! It probably is one, actually. Uh, I gotta somewhere. say, House Party. Woo! Uh, Sean. Oh, uh, yeah. Sean? Dumb and Dumber. Oh, oh no. that's a good one, too. You have a great, amazing movie. I've had a great time. Thanks for having me Bob. on, DJ. Yeah. 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 Thanks for having yeah. me Woo. on. Well, it's toast. been great. Yeah, I, I hope you this. enjoyed the first episode called Co- uh, Cody Takeover. Pancho Takeover. Uh, <laughs> the Pancho Takeover. My name, my name is Cody, a.k.a. Pancho, a.k.a. Clutch. Depends on which friends you're around. 
It was Tune good. in next week, next T- year. Tune next in month. next something. We'll probably wait until uh, January to start yeah, doing it again because of the holidays. holidays and stuff. I'd love to be back if you guys um, would mind having No, you talk too much. <laughs> I, won't be as, I won't be as drunk next time, hopefully. Yeah. We can give them uh, a sedative. There we like go. It. We can <laughs> give them a tranquilizer before we start. Give me a sedative. Give me a sedative. I'll be like All this right. the entire episode. <laughs> um, and that's Bye. it. Uh, and, and with that, uh, goodbye. Uh,